uh, we'll, it will run some of those changes in a little bit different direction, so, but we're definitely on scene and uh, putting resources there. It, it, my sense is there aren't that many sort of homes up in that, in the hills between Lake Sherwood and let's say the direction of, you know, Leo Carrillo and Malibu Springs, Point Magoo. Uh, there are some obviously, but, but this is not a highly populated area, especially where the, the fire is right now. Yes, um, we, we want to, it's right now the fire is uh, on the ridge top above Newberry Park and nothing's coming into the park. So it's, we're just, we're gonna assess where, what structures could be in the way of it and put crews in there if, if we do find some. And Captain, we just, for, for folks watching that live in the area of Westlake Village, they've been out of their homes through evacuation orders over the weekend, have been allowed to come back. But as they see this large plume of smoke over their neighborhoods, are there any homes that are in imminent danger or you're just telling people to just be ready should anything change, but but they're in no danger as of right now? Uh, as of right now, we're still we're still in the process of assessing mm. what, what structures. We, the, the ones that are in the mandatory evacuation area, we're, we're gonna want, that's why we hold those evacs very tight we keep them out for as long as we can um, as of right now we're not reissuing any new uh evacuation orders it's amazing uh captain to see the air attack we've been witnessing on on this portion along that uh the ridge line uh an incredible coordinated attack with both helicopters and then uh the, the tankers can you give us a sense of that the choreography that has to take place to, to allow that sort of thing to happen with with that planes hitting each other. So what we have is the way that operates is the aircraft will be at a higher elevation than the helicopters, and the helicopters will will come in at the lower elevations and drop their their water, and then when we have what's called an air attack, he controls all the resources in the air. When an air tanker comes in. They carry the most most amount of retardant or water to drop. So they they have sometimes a higher priority than a helicopter. That air attack supervisor will move the helicopters out of the way to bring in the air tankers, and then follow it right up with the helicopters coming right back in. It is a coordinated effort that those those firefighters do very well.